Hey, what's going on guys, Ross Michif in the house and welcome to one of the most requested videos on my channel, which is how to build money making landing pages slash websites. This is going to be a step by step video tutorial in which I'm going to walk you through not only how to build beautiful looking landing pages, but also landing pages that make you money that convert people into sales and into leads. You don't have to be a developer or software engineer to make these pages. I'm going to show you my special underground tool that I use to build all of my websites. And actually I run my entire business from this tool. I, I do a lot of email marketing and funnel building. This is actually a business in a box, a special tool. Just for the record, I used to use ClickFunnels and I use it for three years, but recently I canceled my subscription because I believe I was not getting the value for the money because ClickFunnels is expensive and I don't mind paying the price if I'm getting the value, but I don't think I was getting it. So that's why I switched to this new tool. And don't get me wrong, I've used a lot, a lot of page builders. I built my first website back in 2012. So that's a good eight years of building lots of landing pages, lots of blogs and lots of websites. I've used WordPress, lead pages, Groove Funnels, Instapage, Unbounce. I pretty much have account with any possible tool on the web that builds landing pages or automates businesses or, or does email marketing. So I have a good experience with tools and by far the one I'm going to show you works the best. And the pages we're going to build today work for people who are just getting started or individuals who are already an advanced marketers. Uh, these strategies I've developed throughout the years by split testing hundreds, if not thousands of landing pages that I've built. And you don't have to be a programmer or software engineer to build these landing pages. The examples we're going to see today apply for e-commerce, dropshipping, Shopify. You don't even have to pay shop for Shopify. Also for affiliate marketing, if you're doing affiliate marketing or lead generation for a service of, or a company. If you're a media buyer and you buy media for your clients and you, you need to build landing pages fast for them. Overall, the strategies we're going to see apply for people who want to increase their conversion rate on their landing pages. So without further ado, uh, let me share my screen and uh, make a landing page. All right, guys, welcome back. Now in front of you is one of my landing pages that I built for a e-commerce product. And let me just move myself here to the side. And before I show you how I build this page, I wanted to talk about the design standpoint of a landing page on a website and then the psychological side. You don't want to just build a landing page or you don't want to build a website just because you need to. Everybody who wants to build that wants to either sell a product, collect a lead or wants people to take some action on their landing page or maybe you want to inform people. So the one we see in front of us is about a resistant bands and I can scroll through the page so you can see how it's laid out and uh, it's very slick design, very smooth and it's very kind of stylish, very easy to the eye. And this is uh, rule number one, create landing pages that are very easy to understand. Whenever I start to create a landing page, the first thing I'm focusing on is the main section, the header right here. This is the first thing people see. And I always take one of the biggest websites on the planet, which is google.com. And what they see when people visit google.com, white background with just a search bar super super simple and here i have just as a bold title that says no gym no problem i'm selling here resistance bands for home workout and i have a subtitle which says keep your progress and exercise your entire body in minutes results in just four six weeks and then I have C limited time sales. And this button should pop up in the eyes of our visitors. But instead of making it red or super shiny, I just put a little shadow behind the button. So it sticks into your eyes, but it's not aggressive. And if we go to this website, for example, I just found this on the web. Look at that. It's very distracting, especially if you're paying for your uh, traffic, because I'm running a lot of Facebook ads, a lot of Google ads. And when I'm paying for visitors, I really need to laser down my landing page game. I don't want them to get distracted here. I don't want them to click on any of these links. I don't want them to go and read about how cool am I and read my blog because I'm paying for these leads. So if you can see, I don't even have a menu on my website right here is just a blank and I have another button that says buy now and this button goes to the bundles where they can purchase the product add to cart. That's actually rule number two. Remove your menu from your landing page because if you're paying for your leads, if you're paying for your traffic, 
you don't want them to click on about us or how cool am I and my story etc this is going to increase maybe your bounce rate and people will probably get distracted and their friend is going to call them and they're going to forget your website they're going to close your website and they're not going to take the desired action that you want them to do and in my case is to buy this product so I'm gonna show you another landing page which is this one let's scroll to the top uh, and this comes to maybe tip number three people nowadays have built a habit of scrolling and this is because of Facebook and Twitter and Instagram so I've designed all my landing pages now with the intent of people to scroll so as you can see this website I'm selling 20 cool products so I have 20 cool products and I'm selling them not in scattered around my entire screen but look how uh, smooth the sales process is I have a bold title that says what this page is about and then I have a small description here but when people start scrolling they can see product number one the image of the product now description about the product and social proof comments and then they can click the button learn more and then they can buy the product and then we have product number two this feels very native to people because it feels like you never left Facebook you're just scrolling down this landing page and you're looking through a cool product and they pop up just like a uh, regular posts on your Facebook or your Instagram and they can click learn more and they can actually go to the sales page and buy the product and this applies to my other landing page which is the home workout which is the, the resistance bands and let me show you the bad example oh I forgot by the way so this is uh, the bad example with a header of a landing page these guys uh, they know their marketing but here what we have a very big title and a lot of text on the right side a lot of text on the left side in some cases this is okay in some cases I'm not saying this is a fundamental rule but I want people not to get distracted I want them to take one action and in my case here is to buy my product I created this landing page back in February when we got hit by the virus so all the gyms got closed what I said is no gym no problem and that's actually finds the problem and provides a solution in one title very short and this is what you need to do when you're promoting something or when you're trying to sign up somebody as a lead find a problem and in the same title in the very title of your landing page state the problem state the issue and then give a solution now I'm not telling them what the solution is because I'm going to describe it here down below but I'm getting their attention right here this is an attention grabber title all right and now we come to how I build these landing pages welcome this is my tool this is called system.io uh, this is the tool I use to build all of my landing pages all of my sales funnels and as we can see I already have 340 leads collected and yes this tool collects leads sends emails and it's like I told you in the beginning it's a business in a box click the first link in the description of this video you're going to get two weeks of free trial for this tool with the full functionality so you can experience everything that the tool provides for free this is what you're going to see and then just enter your email and once you sign up go over to funnels right here click funnels click create new type let's say ecom and then we want to sell a product click create super fast tool and then from here I'm going to click create a new step this is going to be main page LP stands for landing page and the type of this one is going to be squeeze page now here comes something also very amazing about this tool which is the pre-built templates this tool has a very very slick designs very you can hover over these landing pages click preview and you can actually see a ready to go a website here made for you now let's close that what I used to build my landing pages is this template right here let me open it already looks very very slick from the from the bat uh, it doesn't um, irritate the eye uh, it's very nice to look at so this is the one we're going to use to build our phone so let me actually get rid of myself so you can see the full screen and if I go back to the system IO and I'm going to just click select and boom there you have it and now I'm going to click just save or actually let's click this edit page now when we click the edit page it's almost the same builder as ClickFunnels and insta page you just drag and drop it I can just hover this image uh, click the X or upload a new image and I have my image already uploaded here in the images so this is my image 
of my guy and then I can say again in this title I can actually double click this title and I can say no gym no problem no gym and then question mark and then I have no problem and then it may be exclamation mark here is another tip when you're using fonts fonts are very important don't use more than three fonts or on the entire landing pages I've seen so many very annoying landing pages where they use a lot of different fonts but here what I use, I use uh, sans serif for my text. So this one is going to be open sans actually. This is going to, I'm going to double click this text, highlight and from here uh, text font, instead of web safe fonts, I'm going to go to Google fonts and I'm going to click this box and I'm going to type open sans. There we go. So it's very smooth to the eye. This is what I figured and I've tested a lot of different fonts on a lot of different landing pages. For the title, I use a font called Fija one and Fjord one. I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing them correctly, but if I click this title and say Google fonts and I type Fija, so I'm going to say Fjord one. There we go. As you can see, this is the exact font from my landing page here. This one. Uh, of course, the, the order is the image is on the right, but you have to play around with the two. Now uh, I can just move my image here on in this section maybe right here and as you can see when I'm moving the image I actually drag and drop this image move it somewhere here boom and then I can start moving the text right here you see so it's basically drag you have to play around with these two I'm not going to do it right now you can even reduce the size of the image so I'm going to click this image and here where it says image size maybe reduce it a little bit like that uh, the, uh, the buttons have to come here etc etc right there uh, it has to be a bigger one so I use this template for pretty much all of my landing pages and I just change the text and the images and uh, here for example I don't need this title I don't need this section with logos etc but what I'm going to do is as you can see here on this landing page I have featured in so I'm, I'm going to double click this copy this text come back here highlight this text double click featured in and on the left side we have an image so let's click drag and drop below featured in this is our image I'm going to go to my images with the logos of these magazines I'm going to click insert and here we have it we're going to delete the logos below and then we need to do to add a divider here this is a divider below featured in so we're going to go back and scroll down to the left side it's called horizontal line here so drag this horizontal line below featured in now we have the horizontal line we can reduce the size by clicking over the the line and then margins you scroll down to the margins and then we have left you see how it comes to the center when I'm moving that 137 I'm going to copy this number and paste it to the right side so the right side it also will shrink to the middle let's double click Control command V both shrink perfect and now we have to change the color of this section by just clicking over the section somewhere here in the corner and on the left side we're going to see BG color which stands for background color click that and I'm going to put it to white and boom there we go we have it so what we can do I can click save changes and then I can preview my page by clicking this eye and of course it's not built right now but this, these are just the fundamentals of course the page needs some work you have to spend some time working on the page uh, you have to move let's say the image maybe to the right a little bit but everything is drag and drop so you don't have to do any coding and you don't have to pay a developer to do everything for you uh, for example I have to move this section a little bit to the top I deleted these links as you can see from the my example my page it says buy now and I have my logo on the left side so I actually kept this button where it says login so you can click this button and instead of login I can say here I actually say buy now and when I scroll to the bottom I can see the background color which is blue and I'm going to make it greenish now I have to find the right green here but you got the point and where it says logo it's an image so I click over the image and I click this cloud icon to upload my logo and this is my logo which is bright ideas fitness and I have to reduce the size of the logo by clicking it and it, here on the left side it says image size reduce that a little bit 
like that and I'm going to put it in the middle from here and these things I told you don't use any links on a paying landing page so let's remove that click OK and this button if I drag this to the left you see I can make this button pretty big so uh, let's make it like that and click save changes again let's see how the landing page is looking so far and you have a yellow bar bef uh, behind uh, your site because it, it says this is a preview mode don't use this url just in case you forgot so already the website structure as you can see i try to keep everything very very simple and very easy to the eye and yeah i'm not going to build the entire website right now for the sake of the video because it's going to take me a lot of time to build it and this is how i build all my landing pages again if you want to check out this tool the system io uh, link in the description i told you i wanted to uh, share with you the colors as you can see here if i scroll down i don't use more than three colors actually two are the best and as you can see here i use orange green and that's it orange green green orange because if you start using a lot of colors, this irritates the eye. And let me see if I can have a bad example. Yeah, this is a mess. Dark blue, yellow, blue, orange, lighter orange, golden, pink, red, red. So it's not, it's, this is not good. Always keep it simple. So uh, guys, uh, let me know in the comments below if you like this video and if you like it, really uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know because I didn't talk about the copyright because I write uh, the, the copy on my website myself. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video tutorial on how I write my copy. Uh, maybe I can do like a copyright tutorial. So let's summarize. The first thing you need to do is have a clear goal in your mind what your product is about or what you want people to do on your website. Is it to buy the product? Is it to sign up for a lead? Is it to uh, sign up for a consultation? So state clearly in your title. Keep it simple. One big title with a subtitle that is going to state the problem, the issue and uh, what action they need to do. Then keep the colors minimum to two colors, no more than two, three are getting too much. So as you can see, my colors are green and orange on this landing page and that's it. So it looks very, very simple and very easy to the eye. Step number three, don't ever start from scratch. Don't ever start to build this landing page from scratch. Always use a pre-made template because it's going to be much faster when you have a layout to work on. And like I showed you, I use the pre-made templates uh, from the system IO when I create a new step, let's say test, because they're already good looking. You need just to change them and maybe insert your info. Step number four, this is actually a pro tip. My only actions, call to actions are on the top of the website and at the bottom. These are the places that people stop the most. It's I see a lot of other landing pages that they have call to action in the middle, click here in the middle, sign up here in the middle. But for me, this is kind of a bad image of your brand. So I only have a button on top and then I have buttons on the bottom to for people to buy the product. Thanks for watching, folks. Let me know in the comments below what else you want to see and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.